Good afternoon. Welcome to Galley Gourmet. I'm your guest chef, Owen Doyle. I'm aboard the lovely motor yacht Moonraker. Today, National Provisions has given us some beautiful racks of lamb, great assortment of baby veg. We're going to fire up the grill upstairs. So kick off your shoes, join me, come aboard, and let's get cooking. Hey, welcome up to the Moonraker. Here we are on the grill deck, and tonight's center plate is going to be rack of lamb. What we have here today is three different styles of lamb rack. We have the New Zealand lamb rack, small little 14 ounce lamb rack, real beautiful loin eye, very clean on the silver skin, French down. Usually comes right out of the pack like that, two per pack. As you see, I cut them into little lambsicles. They grill up wonderful, make a wonderful appetizer. Second, we have from Australia, we have weighing in at about a big 22 ounces, the Australian lamb rack. Full eight to nine bone generally. I scored the fat, which if you were gonna roast that in the oven was fine, or you cut down, make a double cut chop, grills just absolutely wonderfully. And then last but not least, from good old US of A, which a lot of us don't get to see because all the big greedy restaurants take them, is the beautiful Iowa or Colorado Gold, this one is from Iowa, lamb rack. Look at those bones, beautiful. It's big spider rack. All right, when you grill your meats, make sure they're room temperature. Leave them out 30 minutes, plastic wrap on them. They'll, they'll perform much better for you. Got the Australian down, fat side down. It's going to grill off wonderfully. We watch that. Watch for flare up. Now let's come to the domestic. Now these are double cut chops on this beautiful spider rack. Look at that. It's unbelievable. I'm going to come on down here. We're going to also the same thing. You see the bones here? We're just going to knock it down straight, push through. Easy. Look at that pop it down. I like to push it down a little bit so it stands. Let's hit another one. Boom. Right through. Look at those. Aren't those gorgeous? Those are going to grill up just wonderful. Most racks of lamb have eight bones in them. Sometimes the little New Zealand ones will come with seven. So you're going to get on a double cut rack, you're going to be able to four, feed four people. So what we're going to do on these, I'm going to get these ones fired up. I like to get a little pepper on them. Always fresh ground pepper. Never go anywhere without it. You can marinate these, you can put these in a bag, you know, you can do anything with this stuff. I like to keep it simple because I like the flavor of lamb. I like the flavor of that grilled fat. It's just wonderful. I think it's say, uh, just, it's very Italian. It's the simplistic way to eat meat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these beautiful ones. I'm going to set them down. All right, now we've got these babies going. We've got the full Australian rack grilling off. We've got the domestic double cut lamb chop grilling off. I want to talk about the garnishes. What are we going to put them with? Well, lamb pretty much goes with everything in, in my book. What I've decided to go with today from my friends at Sid Wainer, they've given me some wonderful, wonderful product to play with. We've got an Italian couscous. This is made of a Durham semolina wheat. It's absolutely wonderful. All right, now we're getting into plate presentation very soon, so I must get my white asparagus on the grill. We're just going to touch that off a little hair. We're going to roll the, roll the turnips, the orange turnips and a little bit of the beets. We're going to warm these up on the grill. You know, you remember you have a great cooking service here. You just have to use it to your benefit. We're going to watch that rack of lamb. She's done. Look at her. She's falling off that loin after that beautiful car. We're going to grab the little Putinesca sauce. We're going to nap the plate. Very nice. It's very simple. Like I said, you don't need to do the Putinesca. You don't need to do a porcini. You can use your mom's marinara sauce. You'll be all right with that. Now here we go. We're going to come over to the cutting board. On the cutting board. Got these beautiful grilled double cut chop. I'm going to serve one of those, lean that on there, and then this was the one, remember I told you about grilling the whole rack. We're going to take this down through the second bone, get rid of the bone. Dog will love that, it'll be great for lunch tomorrow. We're just going to slice it on the bias, start moving on the bias. And then you get a nice pleasant place. This is more of a, this is a large serving for a man. You can get two out of this and use a little bit of that bone. I'm going to slice that off because a lot of people don't like bone on their plate. So let's just lay a little bit of this over here, lay it up in there. A little bit of my Italian couscous, I'm going to lay that in there. Now you can do this any way you want. You can stack it high, you can do it simple like mom used to in three corners of the plate. But as long as you got the flavors working, it doesn't matter. You're going to enjoy it. Now I think we're just going to touch it off with a little bit of color. A little white asparagus in there. Three pieces is always a lucky number in my book. All right.
right, and a beat, and I think we've got some hungry people here. Today I have the honor of feeding the chef of Motor Yacht Moonraker and the first mate. It's a very, very special day. We're going to twig it out with a little bit of rosemary. Louisa, bon appétit. Sir John, bon appétit. And may we uh, end this meal and begin it. Bon appétit, chef. Cheers.